Hi there everyone and welcome to Lower League Football News. Now today we are on our second video and unfortunately we're bringing you sad news that two people who operate in Leagues 1 and 2 have suffered a terrible case of abuse over the last two days. Now those two people are Paul Scally, the Gillingham chairman and Michael Flynn, the former Newport County boss who is now in charge at Walsall. Now we'll start with um, Michael Flynn. He was returning to his old stomping ground as current manager of Walsall. He was ret returning to uh, Newport County and, and they actually ran away with a comfortable 1-0 victory. But he and his wife and his family had to put up with some horrific abuse from the Newport fans. Um, they were throwing stones, hurling abuse. Um, and he said he was absolutely disgusted by that behaviour. And I'm not surprised. Um, to be subjected to something like that must be really difficult to take. Especially when you've done so much for that club when they were there. They, they massively turned it round. Um, but just because he's moved on, people think it's okay to abuse the former manager of the club, which I just think is pretty disgusting. Now let's move on to Paul Scally now. He has been popular in his time at Gillingham. He's currently the Gillingham chairman. He's been there for about 26 years. He's owned the club. Um, he's overseen promotions, relegations, playoff finals, but he has decided to take the step down because he has suffered so much abuse over the past few years. He's just finding it really difficult to carry on on, on a daily basis, basically. Um, if you look on the internet, you can see, um, you can see like a plane that's flying over with that writing on and it says, uh, win, lose or draw, scally out. Now I think, again, whether you like the guy or not, and the same, this, the same goes for Michael Flynn. These guys, I wouldn't have said are on mega money. They're on reasonable salaries. I wouldn't even imagine that Paul Scally is even taking a salary. Um, I would imagine he's reasonably wealthy, but that wouldn't be through football. Um, they're not on massive money. They're not like Premier League stars who are on £300,000 a week. Just because they're involved in football doesn't mean that they're massively well paid. And they're probably just normal people who happen to be in the public eye. Now, my personal thing is that, especially for league, people who are operating in League 2, you know, you've got to give these people a break. Um, they're going to be on decent money, yeah, but that's only for how long, especially for the footballers. They have to retire when they're about 35. So, you know, we've got to be a little bit more understanding and that, un to understand that these are human beings. And I know, like, the emotions on a Saturday can can really overrun and it's the most important thing to a lot of us in our week. But it's a sad video that we have to bring you news that Paul Scally, Gillingham chairman, and Michael Flynn have both been rocked by abuse over the last few days. Thanks for watching.